Hey guys, hey we're all here. Um today I got a, something different from my channel. Uh just gonna do a tutorial on how to do metal text in Cinema 4D. So some examples are in my outro for school project video. And so there 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 and yeah. Also, do you guys like my new background? Uh uh like to see some feedback. So let's start. Now open your Cinema 4D program. Now some of you may be familiar with Cinema 4D but some may be new. So I'll just run over the render settings. So click on your render settings, it'll be two away from the box with the orange outline. Oh, whoops. Here. Now, general full render, just that's default, just leave it as it is. Go output 1280 by 720. Now, um, for output, oh, never mind actually. Go effect, ambient occlusion, and global illumination. Now, for a radiance catch, go go to stochastic samples, put it on the low, go to record density, put it on the low. Now, um, if you want a uh, transparent text, like you put them, you make the metal text and you want it transparent so you can edit it um, later in Photoshop, click this alpha channel, but if not and you want to make like backgrounds and stuff in Cinema 4D just keep that unchecked so let's get started um click on your MoGraph it'll be on the top tab and click on text object this will open up your 3D text and I'm gonna type in has dogs as is my nickname you got a font you gotta make it bbass I reckon this is this font is pretty good for 3D texts simply because it's simple. Now I'll drag up the depth, I'm gonna make it about 70. Yeah, I'll make it 70. Uh, depending on your tech, the text you use, uh, you might need to use different depths. Hold on. Hey, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah. <laughs> So go caps, start, fillet cap, and fillet cap. Now what this does, it will round off the edges. So I'll go back, cap, fillet cap, just as for a nice effect. And if you want to turn it down, you can just go drop it down, but I'll just keep it at five. Add a light, just click on the four arrows here and I'll add the light purpose of a light is to light up the scene. If there's no lights, you won't be able to see anything. So I'll just render it out so you can see. So yeah, that's your text at the moment. Now, go to your metal text. I'm going to be putting this in the description. And so you just drag it onto this box and it will create a material. Drag it onto your text and as you can see the metal is at the back of the text now we don't want this so just click on the the metal go projection flat selection c1 now it's at the back uh, i mean at the front so click on your material at the in the box control drag it out and drag that onto your text swap them and go projection cubic so now they're on both sides so I'll just render it out so you can see and it's looking pretty bland so let's add some effects go file new material double click on it and it'll bring up the editor go to specular drag the width up to about 75 drag the height up to about 75 get a reflection drag the brightness down to about 5 
Go to luminance, drag it down to about five. <coughs> Pardon me. Now just drag it onto your text. Go projection, flat, selection, R1. And this will just add the glossy kind of effect on the where you put the fillet cap. So I'll just render it out. Yeah, so um, you can um, drag the bright brightness up if you want to see, if you want a bit more. But yeah, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. So if you want it transparent, you can just stop right here, save it. But I'm just gonna keep going. Add a plane. So let hold left click on the box, go to your plane, drag the width up, drag the height up. Go file, shader, nuki, and this will pop up. Mm. Make the color gray. I don't know why, but yeah, I'll just make it a gray. This probably looks shit, but I will. So yeah, just drag it onto your plane. Go to your light, go shadow shadow maps and what will this will do it'll add some shadow to your text like yeah just drag the plane out a bit now it will go re test render it see what it looks like so yeah as you can see it right now um it's reflecting onto the ground it looks a nice effect and you can see some shadows starting to happen here. So I'll just speed it up now and I'll be back when it's done. Dude. Fuck. Oh, fuck you. No. Back. So uh, this, this is pretty simple. Oh, you don't have to have, have, have the plane and stuff. And you can just add a um, oh, please, oh, plane background. But, yeah, you this, know, this text probably would look good in montages and the sort. And the sort. So let's render it. Go to picture viewer and it will start to render. It's going to take a shit ton of time, so I'll be speed it up again. Oh, please don't affect my fear you! You know what you call me quick go! Oh, please don't affect my fear you! You know what you call me quick go! Oh, please don't affect my fear you! You know what you call me quick go! Okay, I'm back. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is go to File, Save As. And if, if you wanted it transparent, and you want to your render settings and click alpha channel just click it again here and go format uh, PNG and just click OK and it will direct you here and just type it as save it so that's it for me guys I'll see you later